Okay, so again as usual we try uh, when finding our limit, try first to plug it in and see what happens. Uh, if I plug in 16 into this one I would get uh, 4 minus 4 is 0 over 0 which is an indeterminate form so now I have to do some some more algebra to try to figure out uh, what's going on. Uh, in this case, well there, there are two approaches to this. Uh, I'm going to show you both and then you can decide which one uh, you prefer. Uh, let's try the multiplying by the conjugate first. So I'm going to rewrite this. So I have limit as x approaches 16, a square root of x minus 4 over x minus 16. Okay, so this is a little algebra trick that you can use when you have situations like this. And this uh, sort of trick you works usually when you have uh, square roots in your limit. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the numerator or the denominator whichever one has a square root. So in this case I'm going to multiply it by square root of x plus 4 because the square root is in the denominator. Okay, now you have to be careful um, in that you only want to foil with the uh, the terms that have the square root in them and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so take a look here. If I FOIL on the numerator, which is where I have the square root, this is actually a difference of squares and what I would get is that this is equal to on the top x minus 16. Okay, now, again, you don't want to distribute, and you'll probably see by now why we didn't want to distribute on the denominator, and it's because I can now divide the x minus 16 on top with the x minus 16 that was on the bottom. And if I do that, I can now plug in the 16 and so what I would get is on top I would be remember you're left with a 1 on top and on bottom square root of 16 is 4 plus 4 is 8 and so that's the limit okay now another way to look at it and this is quicker but you have to know what you're doing is that if you take a look at uh, x minus 16 now this isn't the usual uh, way you would factor a difference of squares, but if you imagine it being a difference of squares, let's leave the top alone, if you factor it, this would be square root of x plus 4 and square root of x minus 4 by simply getting the square root of each one. And so notice that these two can cancel and what you get is exactly the same thing that we got back here. If you plug in now 16 down here, you get 1 over 8. And so it's really your choice. Um, I personally prefer uh, this method because I think it's uh, clear. Although if you're quick and you recognize it uh, as being of this type and that this would work, then this is a little bit faster. Okay, so in this problem uh, this is a complex fraction and probably the best thing we can do after we plug it in is to simplify it. So let's say we plug in uh, 0 for h. Uh, notice that we would get a 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4. So we would basically get another indeterminate form, 0 over 0. Okay, so uh, we simplify. To simplify, well, we have to combine 
uh, the two fractions on top into one and so uh, we need to get a common denominator so basically this one needs to be multiplied by a four and this one needs to be multiplied by an h plus two squared okay so what we get is the limit as h approaches zero of I'll just put the h on the bottom now I'm going to have one fraction and the denominator is going to be 4 times h plus 2 squared and on top I would get 4 minus um, now if I foil out the h plus 2 squared I would get 4 minus h squared minus 4h minus 4 okay now I'm going to turn the denominator into a fraction and I'm going to use first of all uh, the fours cancel so notice that this four minus this four cancels them out and if I use the law of the tortilla I get that this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of minus h squared minus 4h and 4h times h plus 2 squared and so basically what happened is I multiplied uh, negative h squared minus 4h times 1 that goes on top and then 4 h plus 2 squared times h goes on the bottom okay and so notice if I try plugging in 0 I would still get an indeterminate form 0 over 0 so I still have more work to do so notice that uh, I can factor out an h on top here so if I factor out an h I would get uh, negative let's factor out a negative h so then I would get an h minus sorry plus 4 you can factor out just an h but um, it just looks a little cleaner and on the bottom I'll just leave it how it is it's already in factored form and notice that the h is now cancel and if I plug in 0 now I get on the numerator I'm going to get so don't forget the negative so I'm going to be negative 4 over uh, 0 plus 2 is 2 2 squared is 4 times 4 is 16 or negative 1 over 4 That's the answer.